Today we're going to be breaking down Duncan Robinson's shooting form, his footwork, and some of the things that he does really well with his jump shot that you can translate into your jump shot as well. The first thing that you want to take into account is that he has incredible touch. You can see here in these floaters that he's got a really good feel for the basket. He's not overshooting it. He's not undershooting it. He's able to get a nice soft touch, which is something you definitely need if you want to be a good jump shooter. So a good way to work on that, of course, is to do these little close floaters right and left handed around the basket. And of course, tons of form shots, which is something that I'm going to continue to talk about throughout this video. Next, we'll talk about fluidity, which allows you to shoot from further range. But you can see here that when the ball is low, the hips are low, and then you can see the ball start to rise first and the body will then follow. You don't want to do the opposite where the ball goes up and the body goes down. Notice how the ball is at the hip level and it starts to rise to the forehead and as it's going up then the hips will go up with the basketball. The same thing happens for mid-range and three and then you want the body to completely extend from your elbows, your hips, your knees and your ankles as well. The reason people say Draymond Green shoots like he's wearing a backpack is because he does not lock his hips out all the way which you can see here in some of the examples when you're shooting. If he were to lock his hips out all the way, he could have a better energy transfer, which is something that Duncan Robinson does really well and why he's able to shoot from deep with such ease. Next, we'll take a look at his set point, which he does something super important, but he keeps the ball in front of his forehead the whole time. It doesn't go to the right side of his head, the left side of his head. It doesn't go on top of his head. It doesn't come from underneath his chin. It comes right up to about the forehead and then releases cleanly no matter how he's moving or where he is. But the ball should never go on top or to the side of the head. Keeping the ball in front of your head will help you to get better arc and fluidity as well. If it comes to the side or behind, you'll end up shooting a flatter shot or it might end up going too high if you go all the way behind your head. Regardless, the lowest set point you should have should be at the nose and the highest should be slightly above your head, kind of like Quine Leonard. Clearly you can see a big part of shooting is your fluidity, but of course we want to make sure that that fluidity transfers into consistency as well. So what you see Duncan doing really well is bringing the ball up in a straight up perfect line from about his right hip to his right eyeball and then releasing that ball through the basket. The less movements we have in our shot, the more repeatable the shot is, so it is ideal to bring the ball up in a perfectly straight line. You see Clay Thompson as a player who does that as well, bringing the ball up in a straight line and you can always see that little bit of space right there in front of the forehead as he's bringing it up towards the right eye. But even Kevin Durant, who's the player who brings the ball around his body and doesn't bring it up in a perfectly straight line, even he gets it up to that same set point where the ball is in the middle of his head or on the right eye. Ideally, you don't want that ball on top of the left eye, but the most important thing is that ball stays in front of the forehead, not crossing the head and not going to either side. Lastly, I want you to focus on the snap of the wrist, on how he's able to release the ball with his index and middle finger, and how his offhand does not involve in the shot at all. So that's Duncan Robinson's shot in a nutshell. Being able to see exactly how he brings the ball up in a straight line, has good arc by keeping his elbow above his eyebrow, and able to release with his index and middle finger, allowing that ball to go straight through with great rotation and not using the offhand at all. There is one thing that Duncan Robinson does do in his shooting that I wouldn't necessarily suggest, but I'll show you what that is here. It's called palm rotation. There are a few players who shoot really well with this because of a lack of flexibility in their forearms. However, even if you can survive with this, I wouldn't teach it. I would suggest you to bring the ball up with the least amount of movements, but I will show you what it is and what it looks like. So myself and many great shooters will love to put their hand behind the basketball here with the wrist already loaded and cocked back. And this way as we bring the ball up, we don't have to have any extra motions in making sure that our hand gets underneath the ball. And with your hand underneath the ball, you can have incredible arc with your shot, incredible rotation, etc. But there are some players who have a different method of getting their hand underneath the ball. The most important thing is how early you can get your hand under the ball. And this is why some players with palm rotation struggle because it takes them too long to get their hand underneath the ball. That is very important. 
So here you see my shooting hand on the side of the basketball, not directly behind it. As I bring it up though, you can see that I start to rotate my hand and the ball underneath. So my guide hand is sliding and at the end of the day, I end up with the same set point, same position, same everything from here and I'm able to release the ball just like I normally would. The only difference is that I created an extra motion or an extra movement that wasn't necessary. Can you succeed like this? Yes. Should you add it to your shot? Absolutely not. And that's me being nitpicky. But the good thing about Duncan Robinson is that he gets his hand under early. Unfortunately, some players who start with their hand on the side of the basketball never get their hand underneath. And the most important thing is being able to make sure that you get your hand underneath. And the least amount of movements you can have in your shot, the more consistent it will be. Making sure that you release the ball with good rotation and arc also help you to have a more consistent shot as well and allow you to have a friendlier roll if you do happen to hit the rim. Now there are guys getting paid millions of dollars all over the world to play basketball because they can space the floor and allow the defense to come outside and not be able to pack it in inside. So make sure that you continue working on your shot every single day so that way you can improve your ability to stay on the floor. Now, I want to thank Bology for allowing me to come out and work with Duncan and help them out. They are going to drop a new test on their app that's going to allow players all over the world to track their metrics and find out the types of drills and workouts they should do and how they rank amongst their peers. All right, what's up? I am Daniel with Bology. We were able to come out here today and put Duncan Robinson through the BSA. That's the Bology Skills Assessment. It's 100 shots in 10 minutes. It's a series of layups, floaters, free throws, mid-range, and three-pointers. So it's gonna be able to test an athlete's shooting ability overall. There's a lot of hype out there. There's a lot of um, you know, ideas around what it takes to be a good shooter. So we were able to get in here today with Duncan. We're gonna be able to see what his kind of baseline score is to be able to set the tone for other athletes to ultimately who wanna follow in the same path that Duncan did. Um, and so Ryan was able to come out here and put him through. And this is something that Ryan's gonna be able to also put um, some of his kids that he's training through as well, just to be able to set the stage and get clear data and metrics so you can actually train in accordance with your aspirations instead of just kind of hoping that I'm getting better and just shooting a bunch of shots. So Duncan absolutely crushed it. We knew that he would. We're excited to see some other guys at the college level, some other girls at the college level and other pros take this thing so that high school players and middle school players have an idea of what they should be shooting for. Um, for the BSA. So it was a ton of fun today um, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing all you guys BSA scores as well. We don't, <laughs> time, <man>. I, we, <laughs> we don't know him, you know, so. I, I understand how it is and it's, and it's better when you want to you want to put out the real side and kind of show people how things are, you yeah. know, so what it's really like. <laughs> <laughs>